The Minions are back once again in Despicable Me 4. And you know what? I need another Minions movie like I need a hole in the head. No, seriously. Someone please drill a hole in my head. This episode's brought to you by Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash Dan for a special offer and stay tuned after the video for more info. Hello everybody, I'm Dan Merle, here to talk about the big July 4th release here in the US, Despicable Me 4, the fourth movie in the Despicable Me franchise, and the sixth, if you also count, the Minions films. This is from director Chris Renault, who's made a career at Illumination and also co-directed Despicable Me's 1 and 2, with a script from Ken Dario, a writer on all three previous Despicable Me films, and writer Mike White, who also scripted Illumination's Migration, as well as the Emmy-winning series The White Lotus. Talk about whiplash. Despicable Me 4 finds Steve Carell's Gru relocating with his family to the idyllic suburb of Mayflower in order to escape the vengeful clutches of supervillain Maxime Lamal, voiced by Will Ferrell, who's turned himself into a human-cockroach hybrid and is angry at Gru for upstaging him at a high school talent show. Listen, just, just go with it. The family struggles to adapt to suburban life as Gru tries to bond with his snooty neighbor, voiced by Stephen Colbert, and his wife Lucy, voiced by Kristen Wiig, struggles at her new job as a hairstylist. Gru also meets a worthy opponent in the neighbor's daughter Poppy, voiced by Joey King, who blackmails him into pulling a heist to steal a honey badger. Again, I can't underscore enough. You just have to go with it. As always, the Minions are also doing their own thing. The main Minion trio gets into hijinks around town in Mayflower, while the bulk of the Minions are transferred to the Anti-Villain League, and a handful of them are transformed into a superhero group called the Mega Minions. Just go with it. Listen, I've made no secret of my distaste for the Minions, and if this had been another Minions-focused movie, then I think I probably would have just skipped the movie and hit myself over the head with a frying pan, which, by the way, I think are... Pretty similar experiences. But this is a Despicable Me film, and I've generally found them a little more palatable than the Minions movies, although Despicable Me 3 really did try my patience. These movies aren't high art, and they don't pretend to be. I mean, less than 10 minutes into this one, a goat poops on the floor. And it's interesting because there are two really diametrically opposed approaches to family entertainment that are in theaters right now. Inside Out 2 is providing a deeply complex story of human emotion that's accessible to all ages, and Despicable Me 4 is providing completely weightless, zany slapstick that's unlikely to have any lasting effect other than having your kids imitate minion gibberish and yell banana a lot. There is a general plot to the movie, but it doesn't really bother with story a whole lot. The overall arc is about Gru and family and their run from Maxime Lamal. But once that's established, the movie's basically a series of episodic sketches that all come together in the last 10 minutes before we end with an ensemble cast sing along to a popular 80s song. This is a franchise that doesn't seek to challenge you. It is a franchise that seeks to entertain you. And if you are a child eight years old or younger, I think the movie will probably succeed wildly. And if you're a parent who enjoys watching your kids have a good time, then I think it'll be entertaining for you on that level. I will say that I wasn't as, for lack of a better term, intellectually offended by this movie as I was the two Minions films in Despicable Me 3. If a friend of mine had asked me if they should take their kids to go see those movies, I probably would have recommended that they let their kids sniff some permanent markers instead because it would have roughly the same effect and you get to skip the cost of a pricey movie ticket. This movie is still mindless entertainment, but I don't think it should come with a warning label that it might be harmful to both adults and children. Regarding the voice cast of the movie, which includes the usual suspects as well as Sofia Vergara, Miranda Cosgrove, and Steve Coogan, listen, I'm sure that this was a great paycheck for all of them, and they earned that paycheck by going out and doing the promotional and publicity tour for the movie. The material itself didn't really seem to present any challenges acting-wise, nor does it sound like it was particularly challenging to do, but, you know, that's just what this franchise is. Agnes, as your father, I command you to lie. No. Yes, lie. Mm -mm. You are walking on thin ice, little lady. Pierre Coffin, or Coffin, if you want to put that French spin on it, as always voices the Minions, as he has for over a decade, and this is the kind of dream job that voice actors would kill for. You show up once every two to three years to shout some gibberish into a microphone, 
and you essentially have lifetime job security because you are completely irreplaceable. I mean, he gave up directing these movies after the first couple because honestly, why bother? I'd honestly say I was envious if I also didn't feel like I would have to wake up every day and stick my hand in the blender as penance if I was the voice of the minions. That's not a judgment on Pierre Coffin. That's basically just a statement of the psychological toll it would take on me if that was my job. We're 14 years into this Despicable Me slash Minions franchise at this point. You know exactly what you're getting. This does nothing different from anything that's come before. This is Franchise McDonald's. It's predictable in its unexceptional nature. It's probably not the best thing for you and your kids to consume, but it's okay as long as it's not all you consume. And no matter what, it will continue to generate billions of dollars in revenue. At least this movie is the Chicken McNuggets of the franchise instead of the E. coli infested Big Mac that I felt like the last three movies were. On a personal scale, I was actually torn between it's fine and not a fan. My tiebreaker, as always, was whether I would willingly sit through this movie again, and I have to say that I wouldn't, so it gets a not a fan from me. But there are worse things you can subject yourself and your kids to, namely the Minions movies, so I guess I have to give it credit at least for rising above that level. These films are thoroughly and aggressively not targeted to me, but to quote Marty McFly, your kids are going to love it. So those are my thoughts on Despicable Me 4, but what do you think? Did you already see it this July 4th? Are you heading out to see it this weekend? Let me know down in the comments below, and before we go, I want to thank the sponsor for this video, Miracle Made. It has been a hot summer pretty much everywhere this year, and Arkansas is no different with high temperatures and humidity that make things feel like a swamp. If you're a hot sleeper like me, you know that bedroom temperature can have a huge impact on sleep quality, and if summer heat interrupts your sleep, I can't recommend Miracle Made sheets enough. Miracle Made sheets use silver infused fabrics inspired by NASA that are temperature regulating so you can stay cool and sleep well. They're also incredibly comfortable without the huge price tag of other luxury brands and they're self cleaning, preventing up to 99.7% of bacterial growth that can clog your pores, causing acne and breakouts. Miracle Made sheets can last up to three times as long without washing as other sheets, which means that you can leave them on longer and make sure that your summer sleep never gets interrupted. Go to TryMiracle.com slash Dan to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code Dan at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a free refund. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to TryMiracle.com slash Dan and use the code Dan to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's TryMiracle.com slash Dan to treat yourself. Thank you to Miracle Made for sponsoring this episode. Stay tuned right here on the channel. I'll be covering the big, I'm sure, box office opening of this weekend, as well as all the other movie news reviews, etc. right here on the channel. Until next time, stay safe, and I'll see you then. Bye.